guys, today's a really exciting day for me. I haven't opened a Samsung phone box for about six years. Last time I did this, it was early 2015 when they released, uh, I think it was the S6 Edge. I think I had the iPhone 5S. And the screen at the time for, for the Samsung S6 Edge was miles ahead of the competition. And today, the reason I'm excited is because again, I believe the S21 Ultra to be ahead of the competition on its screen as well. Yes, you could say that I'm an Apple fanboy and I wouldn't be able to argue with you. I do own quite a few Apple devices, but I love tech in general. And when I see a device like the S21 Ultra, I just couldn't resist it. So uh, I had to give it a go. Right, let's crack on and open this box. Cool. Really cool box. I thought this would be kind of a different color depending on what you ordered because I, I went for the brown version but here you go that so in the box itself we've got a bit more paperwork not interested in that and a cable this is a USB-C cable fair enough but guess what guys, for environmental reasons, there's no charger. Come on Samsung, you take the mickey out of Apple for not giving you a charger and then you do exactly the same. But I've got you guys. Don't buy the expensive chargers. This one from Anchor is fantastic, supports fast charging. I bought this from my iPhone and my MagSafe charger, which guess what, doesn't come with a brick either. This is really good, link down below. To be honest, this camera module is what sold this device for me it was i was already gonna get it anyway but when i saw that you, you have this carbon fiber finish i was like okay so take my money <laughs> i really really love this really happy that i went for this color because it's is a really elegant kind of a dark brown uh, color quite unique really because you know there's not many phones i don't think that that has this color and it looks really good and i know the black that they came up with is supposed to be you know the blackest of the blackest phone ever i don't know it's just a black phone, right? The only downside, which I didn't realize about ordering this color with this finish, is that it was custom order. So it took two, maybe, yeah, close to three weeks more for it to arrive for me. But actually it was worth the wait, I think. It's really, really elegant, really nice. So when it comes to the physical phone itself, so on the left, there's nothing It's really nice and smooth. It's not square like the, the iPhone, but it's, it's a nice, it's not completely round. It does have a round edge on the screen but it's an, it's a really nice sort of curvature on the right hand side you've got the power button and the volume buttons really nice clicking uh, feel to it at the bottom you've got the speakers is interesting that you think oh hang on where's the other side of the speakers the, what they've done is they realized that most people probably watch content this way in full screen so there's speakers at the top here as well apparently so you do get this stereo from both sides here uh, also at the bottom, you've got the USB-C charger port and the SIM card tray. Okay, iPhone, see you soon, maybe. So yeah, in this option, there's no more expandable storage option. So they removed that option from, uh, from this model. But I went for the 256 gig. F for me, it's plenty. That's what I've got on the iPhone. That's really, really good uh, enough for me. And also I went for the 12 gig RAM uh, as well, which should be really good for multitasking. As an iPhone user, you know, the thing that I've, been really looking forward to test is the display. It looks like it comes with a screen protector as well. I just realized so I'm going to take that out. Yeah, so they really protect you really nicely. I mean, I don't think we've got that much protection on the iPhone when it comes out of the box. Wow, I have to say the display is impressive. They've got this quad HD resolution with 120 hertz. Apple, take notes. As an Apple user, this is a big deal guys so i'm going to be testing this and seeing how it behaves i've noticed already in a few things just open for example i use linkedin a lot and i've just gone in there and scrolled just reading and i was really really impressed by how fast the display is how it responds to just scrolling through things it's really smooth everything is, is is really good so i'm going to be testing this in a lot more detail in future videos so stay tuned for that a lot more contrast as well and to be honest this is what i've been looking forward to the display itself is about 35 percent brighter than previous models this is now on full brightness 
has got a lot more contrast and to be honest this is what i've been looking forward to this is the sort of thing that as an apple user as an iphone 12 pro max user i've been really looking forward to, to this display and, and i have to say it's really really sharp i mean of course i've got to test this with different apps but i've been testing this with uh, just kind of watching a couple of youtube videos and i have to say i was really really impressed by the quality by the responsiveness and just how smooth everything runs really really nice i mean i can't get over how beautiful this color is also this texture here feel that so it's not just a gimmick it's got a nice texture to it as well it, it really is quite premium the way it wraps around the phone as well really quite something to be honest i don't really care about the, the fact that it is a bump if that's something that bothers you, I'm pretty sure there'll be cases that, that will solve that problem. Lots of accessories that will come out. I will be testing a few here in the channel as well. It's already on the way. So at the front of the phone, you can see the very minimal bezels. You can barely notice them. You know, it's a nice curved end of the screen here. Really, really nice. I love that bit. There's a tiny punch hole camera here at the top, which uh, is supposed to be really good as well as a front facing camera. Apparently this phone will support the S Pen as well, which is great. That's not included in the package, but I will be picking one up as well to test that as well. When it comes to the cameras at the back, there are four rear facing cameras, four. <laughs> There's an ultra wide, a primary, and two telephoto cameras, two. That's the camera, that's the big one here. It's got a hundred times zoom. I mean, this reminds me actually of that scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off when Cameron uh, was staring at this artwork and the camera zooms in a lot of times. I'm not sure they went a hundred times, but yeah. Right here, they've got also this laser focus, which uh, is supposed to be something to fix. The S20 Ultra had some issues on this, so that's good that they fixed that. They're doing some really cool stuff on macro shots as well, giving you 12 megapixel high res macro shots. That sounds amazing. Let's see if we can use that. Oh, by the way, this. The responsiveness of that fingerprint scan is <laughs> incredible. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> it's, I could do this all day. I don't know if, if it's because I've been frustrated with face recognition. I love it, but wearing masks these days, it makes everything a bit of a nightmare. But th the responsiveness on this is it's just like you tap it and it works. You don't have to like hold it. So I've got these earbuds here from Soundcore. This is the Liberty Air 2 Pro which I'm reviewing as well. So let's see, so that's that's just a normal photo, I guess. So if I go into, this is three times plus, obviously a bit of a camera shake. And this is 10 times. Okay, as focus, it's focusing really well. The resolution feels a little bit noisy, if I'm honest. So let's settle this still rather than me holding it and see if it makes any difference. It's still quite noisy, I have to say. When it goes to 10 times <laughs> the zoom, it's very, very noisy. And you can see that the nice sort of blurry background that is adding here on this uh, on this view, which is great. So uh, let's turn that into a 10x. It is impressive, but it adds quite a lot of noise, I have to say. So yeah, it might it might depend on on what you're doing. You might might need maybe a tripod or something like that for you to put the phone on so that you don't get the camera shake. And, and maybe even better lighting. Let's move on to video. This is what I'm really excited about. As a creator, of course, I'm, I'm really keen to test, you know, it's got 8K up to 24 frames per second. I don't really mind that it doesn't do 30 frames per second because 24 frames per second is kind of what, you know, what gives you a natural cinematic feel to things anyway. I'm not sure if it, if it's doing 4K 120 frames per second, but I know it's gonna do 4K at 60 frames per second across all cameras, not just the back, but the front one as well, which is really good. I do use 120 frames per second quite a bit on my iPhone, so I wonder if I will miss it. Guys, just to remind you, I'll be bringing a ton of content on the S21 Ultra, comparing it with the iPhone, covering accessories for it. So click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well just in case you need a reminder. Sorry about that. I'm using the iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, since its launch, so there'll be lots of content comparing the different features between these two giants. Back to the video. In fact, let's do a quick comparison here. I mean, this is off the cuff. I'm not scripting this. As you can see, in terms of size, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is longer 
than the iPhone, but it's narrower. As I'm grabbing it here, I can feel that the iPhone is wider. But this is a bit, yeah, it's definitely narrower. In terms of weight, feels like the iPhone is slightly heavier, but not by much. But I have to say, there's a nicer feel in holding the Samsung because it's a little bit narrower and it's got these curves as well, although it's not too curvy. It does have some, some sharper edges, not as sharp as this, right? This is the king of sharp edges. I love the feel of the aluminum on the sides. I'm not gonna lie. This is, I think this is a fantastic phone anyway, but I am pleased with how it feels on the hand with the, with the Samsung S21 Ultra and that fingerprint scanning. Did I mention how amazing that is? <laughs> it's really good. It's also got this nice sort of edge swipe here, which is really cool. So you access, you know, the, the more relevant things that you've been doing. So let's go to settings. The first thing I like to do with any phone is turn on the dark mode. So let's look for that. There you go. Boom. Oh, that feels, that feels better straight away. <laughs> that feels much better. Really responsive screen. I mean, I, I really love how smooth everything looks. In terms of processor for this phone, I went obviously here in the UK, you get the Exynos 2100. This will depend on your region as well, what version you get. But in essence, they promise better CPU, better AI. You should be the judge of that. And I will certainly be covering how fast that is in comparison with other phones. In terms of Wi-Fi, again, it promises to be extremely fast, which is great. I want to see how that improves my usage here at home and also when I'm out and about. So yeah, wow, I'm really excited to use this beast for a while and do more videos on my findings, but we're not done, guys. They've also sent me this Galaxy Buds Pro and this smart tag with this phone, which is fantastic. So let's have a look. Massive overkill knife for a little box, but uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, this is not something I would go out and buy myself. If, if they hadn't sent it with the phone, I probably would not have bought it. I do use other tags like this. I use the um, tile tags. So yeah, just to give you an idea how it compares, I mean, the tile tags are really, really thin. They're really nice and, and light. All right, so the Samsung one also has a, a button in the middle, which is quite nice. I didn't know that until two seconds ago. Right, so yeah, I'll be testing that as well. So stay tuned. This I'm excited about. I love audio stuff. They sent me this Galaxy Buds Pro. To be honest, this is the sort of thing that I would have bought anyway, but they sent it with the phone, which is great. Shout out to Samsung for sending me all this stuff after I paid them 1200 quid. <laughs> One day maybe they will send me this stuff. But anyway, little box here. What is this? Uh, okay, cable. And what is this, Mint? I don't know. Oh yeah, so that's the replacement. Oh gosh, I just ruined it all. Replacement uh, little tips to go inside your ear. Okay, uh, and yeah, USB-C to USB-A cable. Hmm. Really looking forward to testing this out. This is the sort of thing that I would do anyway. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm going to be putting that against things like the Soundcore device. I've also got some Apple uh, earphones that we can we can try. If audio is something that you're interested in and earbuds and things like that, stay tuned because I'll be doing lots more videos on those things as well. Guys, this is an impressive device. Even as an Apple fanboy, this screen is what's impressed me the most so far. Having been on an iPhone for so long, you kind of ignore how good some of the screens out there are. I mean, this is, yeah, it's been mind blowing for me. Clearly, I'm going to struggle adapting to a new ecosystem, but I'm willing to give it a go. After all, most of the things I like about my phone, they're not necessarily an Apple thing. Most of them are, are about apps. Yes, I love and will probably miss AirDrop and the handoff between devices uh, when I'm listening to music. But I think I'm willing to give this a go and see, see how, really, how good this really is.